Hello and welcome back to the 30th part of the Star Wars Knights of the Republic Let's Play series. Today we're going to be heading to Mana here, and there's one big ocean here. It'll be really similar to uh, Kamino and Attack of Clones, but the weather is a lot nicer and it's not constantly storming. So let's go ahead and travel here. Um, we're coming off the cast, we went here to find Griff Mission where We actually ran into a friend of cars him that Carp's son is actually alive and killing his sip on Corbin. Of course, we're not going to be heading off there now, but we will eventually. As we now fly off the planet here and head to the night. And hopefully we don't encounter any more damn Sith. Okay, we're good. We're going straight to hyperspace. Sweet. Dream and see where the star map would be at this time. I don't know, it's got like a really big scar on my right eye. Let's see. Is that underwater? See, there's bubbles rising up. So, this star map's actually underwater somehow. Alright, so here, here's Manon. There is Auto City. I think this is the only above sea level sediment, sediment on this whole planet. And by the research, you're right. So here we are. You felt it, yes? Another vision? The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revan and Malak. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manan is covered by nothing but vast oceans. Oh, it looks like this star map was underwater. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkath. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Alright, well, let's go deal with that. Before we get going here, see if we can get some more conversations going with any more squad mates. Of course, Zalzor, he's boring. Johnny. How may I be of assistance to you? you know, tell me about your parents. <laughs> what? Oh my god, I thought that was so kind of enemy in the background. Her fucking hair is threw me off so bad. What is it you would like to speak to me about? Uh, you doing alright? I, I, I thank you for your concern, but I am still a bit Are shaken. Are you still bummed out about Terrace? I have been thinking about myself, about Quatra, uh -huh. and about my fall to the dark side. I keep thinking that it was my anger that drove me that far, that nearly damned me. I look inside myself now and I can still see it. I still feel it. Uh, for us, more, more time, time would do me good. Time to distance myself from that anger. I think that is why the Council agreed to send me with you. They think, perhaps, that in your company, I will be able to free myself from it. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll help you whenever you turn. You have gone in a rage fit. I thank you for your concern and your acceptance. I will strive to prove that I am worthy of your company and trust. I'm going to take her out on a single mission yet. Oh my god, Zanzor, you're in my fucking way. No, 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 no. The wrong direction. Yeah, gotta talk to Harry O'Candorus. Hey, what's Yeah, up? what do you want? You know anything about this world? Water worlds never had much of an appeal for us to conquer. They may put up a good fight on their own environment. No match for us, of course. But they don't really have anything of value, either. They have the thing this world is good for is a substance known as Colto. Colto is the single best healing substance in the galaxy. But the Mandalore are not as weak and fragile as your Republic and Sith warriors. When we enter a battle, we carry weapons powerful enough to pulverize cities. Both in our wars and in our own personal combats, there are no survivors. So Colto does not hold the appeal it does for your peoples. Do you have anything else you want to ask? Why the mail or answer? Your so choice. Dumb. I'm no, here if you want something done planner, right. Don't just lay complete waste to it. It's like this thing, mail orians, they kill straight up for sport. 
so we'll take, um, and we'll take, um, uh, Vestal as well. Yeah, we'll take these two. This seems like a good match here. We'll take the, um, uh, the Jedi who thinks too high of herself, and we'll take the, um, uh, who's also kind of lovely. We'll take Jolie, who's just, you know, hates everything, and he's old. Well, actually, I'm going to take it out Basilis since he had to win. That was a while back ago. Yeah, she doesn't like, with her being a, um, symbol, there's not, she doesn't have much options to really pick from. When it comes to feet, uh, give her master heal, or just regular heal. That's thing with Sentinels, like, they're kind of like Sentinels and Scouts. They're kind of that weird in-between thing, where they're not necessarily, like, they're a jack-of-all-trades and a master of none. Let's see, I can give her anything else in here. Strip of lights. No, I can't, actually, I want that. Give me that, give me that shit, give me that shit. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, where's the rest of these shit at? Interface... What's the interface do? Okay, oh, if you're used in election security, oh, I'll, no, actually I kind of do need that. I'll look really goofy with it on, but I'll need it. <laughs> okay. Sure. So, for anybody who's ever played, ever played Mass Effect 1, the first Mass Effect, and you've been on Novaria. Novaria and Manon are what the fuck's the best one doing? Um, they are extremely similar here. About to find out why. You Republic people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps that the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Bullshit, no, I don't. Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we Sith. I'm, I'm warning here. you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the Selkath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. Girl. Yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. No, I was just standing here the whole time. Uh, yeah, are you no, really. I should apologize. I, I should try to control myself, as you Jedi do. Is yeah, there anything I can help you with? I was getting a fight with somebody. Well, these damn Sith are everywhere on Manon, pushing us Republic citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. Breaking the law? Yeah, the Selkath want to maintain their neutrality in this war we're fighting with the Sith, and they enforce it very strictly. So we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us, and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Colto export restrictions, and that could lose us the war altogether. Yeah, you mean, I mean, I don't know what Colto is. I'll hear it from this guy. <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm no, sorry, no, not actually. Everyone knows what Colto is. It's the most powerful healing agent in the galaxy. I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. But the reason it's important here is that Colto is only found naturally on Manan, and all of our attempts to synthesize it have failed miserably. So, we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Colto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. Yeah, so basically, the Selkath have a really strict neutrality. They don't support New York Republic or the Sith. They give Colto both sides and make a profit off of them, because that's the only, this is the only place in the galaxy that produces it naturally. And basically, you know... This is pretty much essential. This is actually a really important plan. The Selkath think that by staying neutral, they can play both sides, selling Colto to everyone that needs it, and making themselves too valuable to be worth conquering. Exactly. Well, that, and they threaten to destroy the only natural source of Colto on the planet if anyone tries to attack them. But I think they're underestimating the length the Sith will go to to get what they want. 
They're probably planning something already. Is there anything else you require? Uh, have you yeah? Have you seen an ancient star map? A uh, star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? Yes. No, I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Well, Is there anything else I can do for you? Bitch. Uh, yeah, tell me about Auto City here. Um, it's big, real big. Actually, it's pretty much the only real city on the entire world. The only place for us air breathers, anyway. Manan is a water world, which you may have noticed on your way down to land here. No, we just came down here natively by a species of fish people the called the Selkat. They built this city to cater to us off-worlders and as a base of operations to export Kolto, which is the only real thing they have to trade here. Hmm. Yeah, how come they haven't joined The Selkat think that by staying... Oh, yeah, I heard his blah, 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 Of course. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave, near the visitor residences. Uh -huh. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south, past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You got that? No. Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. <laughs> like, I want, you can go here, 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 and there you go. Like he said it so fucking fast. This one dude's just staring off into this damn corner here. What are you doing? Yeah, I can't talk now. I've got to get this cult all loaded up before my shift is over. Yep, sure. But anyway, kind of like Manon on Mass. Manon. Uh, I came up kind of confused. Never seen place, please. Kind of like um, Novaria. Um, this is kind of like that kind of wild, wild west planet where like they kind of like do. There's a lot of secret shit here. You'll find out later. Oh my god, I'm not using this dialogue anymore. Blah 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 blah. Let me see your inventory. I don't give a fuck about this planet or this city. What do you got here? Oh, no, a whole lot. I got some shit to sell, but I don't even know what the fuck I want to get rid of. Oh, over here. oh, what the? I just talked to him. Oh, fuck, I'll talk to him. Hi, Jolie. What you doing? On your mind, dude? Yeah, the game told me how to talk to him. Yeah, you never decided to tell me why you came with us. Oh, I never did, did I? No. <laughs> of course you do. I know things, remember? You think you could make it around this part of the galaxy without me? But, but uh, don't answer that. At any rate, I already told you why I wanted to leave. I'd seen everything I wanted to on Kashik. Time to go. Time to move on. Yeah, move on. To more. bed. I'm old and tired, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, not real. How many kilometer high trees could you find an interest in before you figure you've had enough? I bet you can't be bothered to stay in one room for more than 15 minutes. No, not really. I really had to leave after at least five Shadowlands. minutes. Exactly. I'm five. just happy to be back in space, doing something new. Is that too much to ask? Yes. Damn <laughs> right it is. No, I guess not. There. Now, was that so hard? An old man has to be allowed some petty eccentricities. Nice to see you agree for once. I'll admit, for all its flaws, Kashik was home enough. But when you came along and I saw the destiny you had before you, I couldn't help but be intrigued. Oh, you don't mind this for you, so you're into yeah, what your interest might be. Interest? Well, I certainly don't have a vested interest. Call it more idle curiosity. Your destiny is rather unclear. In fact, everything about you that I can see is odd. Slightly off, as if my eyes are trying to trick me. Oh, well, you are something, really holding Something is very dark about you, but that. Ah, I'm sure you don't need to hear my ruminations. You've probably got enough nosy Jedi offering you one opinion after another to make you sick. Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> Your future will come of its own accord, trust me. Sometimes navel-gazing at it doesn't get you anywhere. I wouldn't worry about it too much if I were you. You remind me a bit of Nomi. <laughs> and that can't be all bad. Who the hell's that? Know me, Sunrider. She came late to the Force, just as you have, and became one of the greatest Jedi ever. Oh, fine, fine lass. Whether you'll follow the same path remains to be seen. For one thing, we'll never get anywhere if you stand around chatting up old men all day. So we got Star Killer, Skywalker, Sunrider, and it got like a lot of some odd names. 
So you're some kind of observer. Nonsense. If I ever refused to help you when you asked, how confused can one person be at me? <laughs> one thing I will say is that this little escapade does remind me a bit of my adventuring days before the war. Uh, those were exciting times. Or at least it would remind me of those times if we didn't stand around. What's keeping you? You're too young to be so talkative. Shoo! Shoo! Well, that was nice, show me. Now, who's this person? Do you have any exotic species for sale? Nothing dangerous. Uh, what kind of exotic species? Uh, I got some geese that you want some. Does anyone can take him off my hand? Ah, bull. I would really like it right Credits. I can get rid of our credits credit get ready some of this. Yes! Yay, I don't have to deal with those sons of bitches anymore. Docking Bay 26B. Okay, so another thing on this planet, on the uh, landing pads, there is. Absolutely turn this Oh no, 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 what? Fuck. I was trying to go out there, but the damn thing activated. Because it's like, it's kind of me face the opposite way. I'm kind of, you know, kind of stuck there. Alright, um, let's see what's down this way as I walk around in a fucking circle. Ooh, look at my green lights here. Ooh, shiny. Let's see. Down here. That's not a landing pad, that belongs, that's a SIF symbol, so that's where we're at. So, walking down there, probably not the greatest idea. We get this fucking clean right in the way. So, I guess we can go ahead and head off the um, landing platforms here, uh, loading docks, where the hell you want to call them. And we'll head off into the city itself, West Central. Okay. Let's see what we got going on over here. Area. Oh no, this is this is kind of nice. Water's pretty relaxing, also too. Who's this summer bitch? Uh, uh, who are you? Uh, no, I'm not playing more Bazak. Fuck that shit. Like, it seems like all these Bazak players are completely addicted to it. I gotta play more Bazak. Oh, I saw my brother. Alright, uh. Uh, Cell Cat Poor Official. Uh. Yeah, what are the rules exactly? Cut to the smuggling is punishable by death. Any process cut to the air have a permit. Uh, so no fights. Okay, I can understand. Docking fee with her credits, uh, make it 50. Damn it, I always fail these fucking persuasive checks. Okay, well, items received. Right. Obey the laws here on Manon, human. Oh, okay, generic robot droid. And uh, here we go, Manon. This is actually a pretty cool looking planet. I kinda like it, it's kinda nice and peaceful. Got this nice sun and the ocean over here. You can stare at it for hours. It just, just goes on. God, it goes on forever. Let's, let's talk to some. Let's talk to some people. Let's talk to some people. Who's this? Who is Traveler? The whole swoop racing circuit for this sector has been falling apart since the Sith bomb terrace. Uh, yeah. So Traveler had nothing really 
and she can tell us all what the hell. have a moment? There's something I wish to speak to you about. Yep, I figured it was only a matter of time until we had the whole come back to the order discussion. Well, I guess there's no avoiding it now, so let's get it over with. I love how my guys like paying attention to what they're saying. Issues with the order, but you are a Jedi, Jolie. You command the Force. Without the guidance of the Council, how can you avoid falling to the dark side? Well, I've managed to avoid it the last 20 years or so. Besides, light side, dark side, they don't mean the same to me as they do to you. I don't see an absolute. Like Sith. Uh. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go I want to stop Malik as much as anyone. But wow, I don't have to join the She order looks really freaking depressed. Look at or Kandorus. They're with us in this quest, but they aren't Jedi. The capacity for good or evil, like the Force itself, is in all living creatures. And belonging to the Jedi Order, or the Sith, or any group, won't change what you are at your core. I see you were quite adamant. No doubt you've had ample time to think on this during your long seclusion. I guess it was foolish of me to think I could sway your position so easily. Yeah, I'm old and stubborn. But I appreciate the effort. But from now on, you can just think of me as any other non-Jedi in our little group. With a lightsaber. And force powers. Yeah, Jolly, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Let's see, West Courtyard. I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunry. But I heard the Selkath mention you and your friends. The Force has brought you to help us. Why? Whatever could be the matter, my dear? It's horrible, Jolie. Sunry has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Murder? But how? It's all a mistake, Jolie. Sunry isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Calm down, Laura. We're Sunry now. Sunry's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, go to the courts. Talk to the judges. Maybe the Selkath will listen to you. Don't worry, Alora. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunry. Somehow. Oh, this is a present little interesting kink into this little mess here. Let's see what else we got. So, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Oh, hold on. Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure I'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Hmm. Okay, let's talk to the crowd negotiator. Do you mind? I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive right now. Well, there's no I need to hire here. these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. Maybe you can hire me. I don't know if you've got what we're looking for. Jedi aren't generally suited to mercenary work. If you want, talk to Roland Wan at the Republic Embassy and see if he can find anything for you. It's north of here, just east past the first courtyard. It's just off the north end of the second courtyard. You can't miss it. Now, if you'll excuse those directions, me, I have to continue my report. That's confusing. Um, okay. Oh, so much for what the f is he like? The hell is he doing? Is he like? That's kind of a weird stance to be taking. These people. A friend of mine got into the Zog. You know, the card game. Now he can't stop. It's so addictive. Yeah, I've noticed. Let's see where else? Oh, we'll go here. It looks like there's a little place over here. Um. This, oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I I had the time to talk, but I don't have time to talk to you because you fucking drone on for so long. And uh, Nico Plus. Pretty sure I pronounced that wrong. Our floating city is beautiful, and it's not. Um. Yeah, it is nice. Yeah, what are we talking about? Because I can't understand your blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, what do you want me to do here? What's the 
see why. Okay, so he basically wants to know why the Republic are getting so many mercenaries. I doubt the Republic would be involved in anything illegal. Still, if this Selkath has concerns, we could look into it for him. Be careful here, kid. Start poking your nose in a place that doesn't belong, and you might not like what you find. <laughs> Oh, is it like the, the men, the uh, mercenaries that do not return? Uh, yeah, I'll take a look into it. Alright, gotcha. So he wants to know what Republic are hiring so many mercenaries. What the fuck's up with this dude? A friend of mine got into Pazak. You know, I had the, the card game. On plan, now he can't stop. Luck. It's so addictive. Who's, who's this guy? I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian or the Achani can help you. Though they lack the stomach for certain jobs. Uh, why have you some Achani Mandalorians? They lack the resolve to do what needs to be done. The Achani believe in a non existent warrior code of honor, and the Mandalorians prize credits above bloodshed. I don't know, it seems like the Mandalorians like killing her. Honor comes from slaying your opponent. And the true reward of any job is the taste of your foe's dying blood on your tongue. Well, it'd be kind of hard to do with that helmet up there. I don't think you'd be tasting anything. Ask whatever you wish, though you may find some of my answers distasteful. Oh, okay. Uh, why are Republic hiring so many mercenaries? Perhaps you should ask them. The Republic prefers not to deal with my kind. Though maybe they need an Iridorian to finish the job. The mercenaries they hire must be failing, as they are never heard from again. Mm. That is all I know. Is there more you wish to ask? You know, I'm looking for any to start map around in your room, as you happen to know where those are at. Manan has no such things, unless the Selkath have them hidden away at the bottom of the ocean. Is there more you would know? Eh, I'll be going. Yes, I'm not surprised. There are few on this watery world who feel comfortable in my presence. Oh, okay. Just to let you know, this, um, um, Rita over here, um, he's just drinking, he's drinking nothing. He's just have his hands, like he's grasping a cup, there's nothing there. See, there's nothing there at all. Look at this stupid fly. Like, he's not even drinking anymore, he's shoving his fist into his eye. What in the fuck was he trying to do? Hey man, clear out. You're cramping my style with a Wow, pretend like you're trying to take a shit in the middle of the fucking place? What the fuck was that? She looks like. Wait, what? I don't even remember clicking on you. I'm like, I'll wait, wait, I'm like, okay. For one thing, hey, there's a Sif, drunk Sif, right here. There's another one off to my left, and you're talking to me all the way across from here. This guy's looking at him, he's about to fucking pass out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sif or evil, yeah, I know about that, what you're talking about. Cell cap advantage. Most of teenage cell cap. And his daughter has disappeared. Disappearance coincides with the arrival of Sif, and he thinks there is a connection between the two. But what in the fuck is he doing behind me? What are you doing, bro? Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna escape this appearance. So the nerd guy on fire, Chris. I wonder if he talks to her. Like, just paint this guy off and find out some shit. Find out what's bizarre in the air, missing cell cat. Yeah, I'll take a look into it. By the way, you might want to clean up the vomit that's going on behind me. Yep. Alright, so he'll give me a reward. Okay, let's try to talk, uh, talk, talk. Maybe I'm drunk now. We'll talk to this drunk sip over here. You're new around here, aren't you? My name's Duan. Care to buy Seth Girl a drink? That is, unless you're one of those simpering Republic soldiers. Oh, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm not part of that. 
I'm here for the swoop bike races, that's what I'm Well, here for. some of the soldiers like to go and bet on the swoops on their day off, but this planet is bad enough without mingling with the locals. It isn't easy here, you know. Not with all the Republic soldiers walking the streets while we sit and do absolutely nothing. Malik should send a fleet in and conquer this whole sector, Colto or no. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind. You know? Well, it looks like Yuri had a couple of drinks. I'm searching for ancient ruins. Are you some kind of historian or something? You should forget about the past. Look towards the future. That's why I joined the Sith. The Republic is old news. And then I get stuck on Manan, the worst post in the galaxy. No, Tatooine has something to say to you. Not with all the Republic soldiers walking the yeah, streets I while know. we sit yeah, and blah, do... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Why are you still taking an interest in someone can yeah. We Sith are interested in a lot of things. If you're smart, you'll stay out of Well, Sith if you're all business. drunk, I don't but think I don't I'm really worried about, about it. that right now? Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Let me go. Oh, I get it. I get a little bit wild, and you want to hold it against me. Dubai. Come on, what's the matter? Afraid I'll drink you under the table? Hey, if you're not man enough to keep up, who needs you? Seems I'm not ladylike enough for some men. Well, I may be a woman, but I'm still a soldier. Barkeep, bring me another round. Yeah, you do that. Uh, um, I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> okay, apparently not. See what you got here. Oh, pretty much fucking nothing. Okay. We might have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good, but I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bombed Taras into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this, when we win the war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. I see when some test off turn down a He's job. Like, yeah, right there. Yeah, there Excellent. Is. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. Okay, let's see if I can talk to her here. I have no desire to speak to you. I know you have links to the Republic. Oh, this is, this is the lightsaber and the Jedi robes I give, give away. Oh, shit. Are you hiring for the Republic or the Sith? Uh, near. Then why are you wasting my time? There's big money to be made here. I can't risk missing a job offer because I'm yapping. He was, just, was given a job offer. What the fuck? If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers I can't keep up as it is. Maybe that Iridorian skull slagger at the bar will be a Johnny Nerf herder cowering in the corner is available. <laughs> well, I'm not like each other at all. Uh, nothing. Except that the Johnny are a bunch of fade dancers prancing in a battle with tiny weapons not fit for Mandalorian children. They hardly wear any armor because it slows them down when they run away. But the Johnny are better than the Iridorians. Those savages keep hacking at fallen foe even after death, mutilating the corpse out of pure bloodlust. I even heard they'll turn on each other when the battle fever hits. Who wants to work with someone like that? I could pretty much name my price right now, especially since the Republic's so desperate for mercs all of a sudden. Yeah, do you know why that is? They ain't saying, but the price is sure right. Of course, I haven't heard of anyone coming back, so I'm guessing the job ain't easy. Did you hate the Republic for kicking your ass a couple years ago? I'm a realist. It was war, after all. And even though the Republic destroyed my people, the leaders of the Armada were Revan and Malak. So I hate the Sith just as much. And with this war, there's plenty of opportunity to take bloody vengeance against both sides and make a nice profit along the way. We Mandalorians are always practical that way. Not like those bloodthirsty Iridorians or those honor bound Chani. Or anything else you want? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, so I'm why good. Why are you telling me? If you're going, go. I don't need a status report. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so really, um, let's see, who else we gotta talk to? Who is this guy? I hope you're here to play some pause. Oh, no. I don't come here looking for sparkling conversation. Well, you're, you're not going. No, so sorry. So clear out already. I mean, yeah, well, maybe he has questions. I hope you hear about the see, well, yeah, I guess questions for you. I prefer to make my credits gambling, oh. but I never turn my back on an opportunity. Maybe this can be a profitable exchange for both of us. Uh, why is it uh, probably public hiring some mercenaries? Hey, here's an idea. Why don't you ask the mercs? I did. They didn't yet, tell go me. Go down to the embassy and ask the Republic. You don't waste my time now, or you got some more questions. Uh, tell me what you're doing. Oh, what do you think of? Uh, you know what? Fuck you, dude. Oh, that was useless. Let's see, where else can we go in that? Uh, just 
this a concept as a mind. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Can't go in there, authorized personnel only. Now, what is this? Symptomatic. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic's soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. And still death. Willing to engage in violence with the Sith. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Inkway's fault. And still death. 10,000 credits to both sides. Hey, I can pay that. Well, that was, uh, that was fun. They say everyone on Manon is equal, but it seems the Republic is a little more equal than the Sith. Neutrality? Ha! That's a laugh! <laughs> uh, okay. So let's talk to the Republic guy. I'm sick of hearing about Manon's neutrality. It sounds like a coward's excuse not to fight, if you ask me. Oh, both these. Okay, you both of y'all so I guess talk to the judge here. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, I like to investigate this murder case of Von Sunray. Defending the armor. I suppose your Sunray's only hope. We have to at least try to help him. Oh, great, now I'm on foul here, that's bad. So now we're basically playing L.A. Noir now. So I was leaving a hotel in my hand, did simple men, the last of orbs, the first time I was on charge murder, being held in a lottery prison facility, so it's going to be sad he's kept in a solitary holding cell for all shit. Oh. At least, uh, at least it was on a blaster room, or I found dead of a blaster room. A criminal Republic medal, a Republic medal in her hand. Yes, but it almost seems too heavily stacked, doesn't it? Very suspicious. Jolie, no one asked you. Alright, well, I think we'll do the uh, summary murder case in the next video. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching this. Hopefully, this video wasn't too long. I'd like to thank y'all for watching, and we'll see y'all next time.